And it's Ross. La, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross is reading time. And it's Ross. La, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, Ross is reading time. Hey guys, it's Ross again with Ross's reading time. And we today, I'm excited. It's been a while and I've missed you guys and I hope you're excited. Uh, we are going to see or read together the true story of the three little pigs. It's as told to um, as told to John or by John Sheetska, illustrated by Lane Smith. The true story of the three little pigs. Have you guys heard? I'm sure you guys have heard the the story of the three little pigs. Now this supposedly is the true story. Here we go. Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs, or at least they think they do. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Nobody knows the real story, because nobody has ever heard my side of the story. Not me. The, the, the book is saying that, or that's the wolf. My side of the story. I'm the wolf, Alexander T. Wolf. You can call me Al. I don't know how this big, whole big bad wolf thing got started, but it's all wrong. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault wolves eat cute little animals like bunnies and sheep and pigs. That's just the way we are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think you were big and bad too. That's the wolf. There he is there. And there's a big cheeseburger. That is a big honking cheeseburger. <laughs> That is a big... You guys like cheeseburgers? Me too. Here we go. But, like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. Here we go over here. Uh, he's The wolf is pointing to a chalkboard and it says it's about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. And then over here it says, this is the real story. Here we go. Way back in Once Upon a Time... I was making a birthday cake for my dear old granny. That's nice. I had a terrible sneezing cold. I ran out of sugar. Look at him. He's making his cake for his granny. And he says he ran out of sugar. He's trying to... So what's he going to do? So I walked down the street to ask my neighbor for a cup of sugar. Now this neighbor was a pig. And he wasn't too bright either. He had built this whole house, his whole house, out of straw. Can you believe it? I mean, who in his right mind would build a house of straw? <laughs> I don't know. Here he is. He's walking down the lane. And you can see up here is the house of straw that he's walking to. It's the first house he came to. So, of course, the minute I knocked on the door, it fell right in. I, I, I didn't want to just walk into someone else's house so i called little pig little pig are you in no answer i was just about to go home without the cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake that's when my nose started to itch i i felt as a sneeze coming on well i huffed and i snuffed look at him Look at him to to the over here. He's looking in and he's trying to, and he's he's seeing if anyone's home. And then over here, he's huffing and snuffing because a sneeze is coming on. And I sneezed a great sneeze. Look at him. Oh my goodness, he that is a magnificent sneeze. Looks like the house is going down. And you know what? That whole darn straw house fell down. And right in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig, dead as a doornail. He, he had been home the whole time. It, it seemed like a shame to leave a perfectly good ham dinner lying there in the straw. So I ate it up. He ate, he ate, he was just laying there. Think of it as a big cheeseburger just lying there. Look at here over here he's like he's like what is he gonna do because because the the pig is just laying there it's like a perfectly good cheeseburger <laughs> i was feeling a little better but i still didn't have my cup of sugar so i went to the next neighbor's house this neighbor was the first little pig's brother 
He was a little smarter, but not much. He had built his house of sticks. I ran the bell on the stick house. Nobody answered. I called, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? He yelled back, go away, wolf. You can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Look at this guy. He comes over here. He comes to the straw house over here. Or the stick house, sorry. And then over here, the pig is inside and he's like, no way, you are not coming in my chinny chin chin. I had just grabbed the doorknob when I felt another sneeze coming on. I huffed and I snuffed. And I tried to cover my mouth, but I sneezed a great sneeze. You remember the sneeze before? A great sneeze. And you're not going to believe it, but this guy's house fell down just like his brother's. When the dust cleared, there was the second pig, the second little pig, dead as a doornail. Wolf's honor. He, he says he's telling the truth. So there he is, the over here. Um, he sneezed a great sneeze, and the house of sticks fell down, and there's the wolf. He died, too. That's sad. But he's just laying there. So now, you, now he says, now you know food will spoil if you just leave it out in the open. So I did the only thing there was to do. I had dinner again. Think of it as a second helping. Have you guys ever had a second helping? I have. I was getting awfully full. But my cold was feeling a little better, and I still didn't have that cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. Still needed a sugar. So I went to the next house. This guy was the first and second little pig's brother. He must have been the brains of the family. He had built his house of bricks. You guys remember that from the story? I knocked on the brick house. No answer. I called, Mr. Pig! Mr. Pig! Are you in? And do you know what that rude little porker answered? Get out of here, wolf! Don't bother me again! Look at this. He went to this the third house, the house of bricks. Oh, my goodness. And he would not let him in. Talk about impolite! He probably had a whole sack full of sugar, and he wouldn't give me even one little cup for my dear sweet old granny's birthday cake. What a pig! I just about had to go. I was just about to go home and maybe make a nice birthday card instead of a cake. When I felt my cold coming on, I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed once again. Then the third little pig yelled, And your old granny can sit on a pin! Whoa, that's not nice. <laughs> that would hurt, sitting on a pin. There he is. There's the pig up here. He's not going to let him in. His house is made of brick, so... I don't think he's going to be able to get in. Now, I'm usually a pretty calm fellow, but when somebody talks about my granny like that, I go a little crazy. When the cops drove up, of course, I was trying to break down the pig's door. And the whole time, I was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a real scene. Look at this. He's making a scene up there. He's going over here. He's going crazy, and here the cops come. And what do you suppose happens next? The rest, as they say, is history. The news reporters found out about the two little pigs I had for dinner. <laughs> they figured a sick guy wouldn't go borrow a cup of sugar. Didn't They figured a sick guy going to borrow a cup of sugar didn't sound very exciting. So they jazzed up the story with all that huff and puff and blow your house down, and they made me the big bad wolf. That's it. That's the real story. I was framed. Look at this. Here he is over here. He made the newspaper. He made the news lines. And here he is over... They, and they, they made the story. They jazzed up the story to make it more than it was. But maybe you could loan me a cup of sugar. Look, he is. He still hasn't given up. He's in jail. And he still wants to make a... a, 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 a he still needs a cup of sugar to make his gran, granny a cake in jail. I don't know. That's what he says the real story is. Do you guys believe him? I don't know. Um, that's what he says. And there's always something to take away from this is there's always two sides to every story. So um, know that before you um, are quick to assume or quick to judge another person that there might be another side 
to the story. I don't know what's true, but you guys be the judge for yourself. And that's it. I hope you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching. Okay, bye. And it's Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross is reading time. And it's Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross is reading time. <laughs>